Turing represents the biggest architectural leap forward in over a decade, providing a new core GPU architecture that enables major advances in efficiency and performance for PC gaming, professional graphics applications, and deep learning inferencing. The new Turing architecture provides a significant boost in graphics performance by utilizing a new GPU processor architecture with improved shader execution efficiency, and a new memory system that includes support for the latest GDDR6 memory technology. Given the price point at which Turing is launching, many have noticed that NVIDIA is in no rush to retire its 10 series Pascal cards and NVIDIA has even confirmed that their Pascal cards will remain on shop shelves, at least for now. And NVIDIA seems to also be coming up with a pretty keen strategy to maximize their profits based on both A, their placing of the performance of Turing front and center, and B, they're charging a pretty penny for a Turing premium. And NVIDIA seems to have a market to plan they're trying to downplay from the public. I believe that the reason NVIDIA is charging such a premium for Turing is because they believe that they will actually be able to get away with it. If they keep pushing the idea that Turing is a truly next level architecture that is going to be giving unprecedented performance, then they will likely sell the remaining 10 series cards that remain on the market anyway. As of now, we haven't heard much from NVIDIA about their entry to mid-range 20 series cards, but more information on them is expected in the near future. Based on the current price premium that NVIDIA is charging on their Turing cards, it is hard to say how entry their entry cards are truly going to be. The overall value of NVIDIA seems to also be at a great risk. Reports have said SoftBank, NVIDIA's largest backer, is pondering over possibly relinquishing their share in the company. SoftBank is definitely not fallacious in their ideas of possibly dumping their shares completely as the peak stock price of $289 has dropped to $146 at the time of me filming this video. In just six months from June 18th, you can clearly see a relatively stable share price and finally rising to an all-time high in October. After this, the company slides down a downward slope in stock value all the way down to today with an all-time low. Although I'm not for certain, I can make a good estimate that NVIDIA's share prices are not going to stabilize anytime soon. I think NVIDIA is a great company and the Turing architecture looks very promising. However, it is certain that the price at which these RTX cards are being sold are too high for them to sell well as of now, thus further lowering the stock price. This seems to be giving the inferior AMD Radeon lineup an edge on GE Force from a net sales standpoint. Even if NVIDIA's cards have more powerful graphics capabilities and much better efficiency, if the pricing doesn't get more competitive, AMD is bound to take the majority of the budget mid-range GPU sales. Using the RTX 2080 Ti yielded a massive jump in performance over my GTX 1070 in gaming and video effects, as well as 3D detailing. I got a first-hand account of the power of Turing, and disregarding the $1,200 price tag briefly, I got to enjoy the most powerful card on the market. Let me know what you guys think. I hope to be comparing Turing and Pascal architecture soon. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you.